Good day, Grade 11. So we're going to do a quick talk through your practical assessment task for engineering, graphics and design for this year. Um, now, all these documents have been pushed and uploaded to your My eBooks app. And uh, I do want to urge you to really take your time today and read through that documentation to make sure you're familiar with all the content. I'll be, just for the sake of this presentation, highlighting a couple of things for you. So... Uh, the scenario is that you as architectural firm uh, have been requested to submit a complete design solution for a new entrance gate to the GLA Eco Campus development. And in your folder there's clear pictures, drone pictures that's taken. Um, there's also site plans available for you to see the, the, uh, the correct um, placement of this new entrance gate. What's important to note is that this new entrance gate must ensure the safe entry and exit of all students, parents, teachers and visitors to the campus. There are a variety of users to consider in your design. You have to include the hostel kids, the office workers, sporting teams, visiting the school, learners and teachers of GLA and Oak Ridge Academy who at various times of the day require access to the premises. So it's really um, an entrance gate that will have to cater for pedestrians, for bicycles, um, for buses, motor vehicles, etc. You also have to remember that a guardhouse must be included in your solution to accommodate at least two guards at a time. You have to make sufficient provision for the guards uh, with regards to the access to, uh, access to a kitchenette, bathroom, lockers and an office. The guards must furthermore also be able to easily monitor and regulate both persons entering and exiting the grounds and that really is important. Right, so also you have to make use of the latest security technologies to support the regulation of traffic and people entering, entering the premises. Um, and you must also think how will you regulate um, the traffic or the flow of pedestrians when there is high traffic periods but also when the guards are not on duty maybe during the night etc and then we've specified for you uh, what must be included in your portfolio portfolio in the end of the day you'll have to have a front page showing uh, a two-point perspective of your entrance um, you'll have to have an index of course uh, you'll have to have a design brief uh, that's in your own words. That's important. And it must clearly identify the primary problem. The primary problem in this case is uh, that sentence that, that says you have been tasked to, uh, to, desire, to, to, um, to submit a design solution for a new entrance gate to the GLA Eco Campus. That in essence is the primary problem. Uh, you will have to identify your role within the design. In other words, you'll have to word for me I've been appointed as an architect. Um, I will have to start with uh, understanding the uh, um, constraints, the specifications. I'll have to then do some research. I'll come up with um, two basic uh, freehand concepts that I will submit to my client. And that uh, after that, I will create the necessary working drawings, the floor plan, etc., etc. So you will just describe what's your role and what you will be doing also in a short paragraph, and then you will have to list a comprehensive list of specifications and constraints. And we've talked about that in class, but um, make sure uh, uh, you take some time thinking through those lists um, and, and come up with some of your own, please, in that sense. Right, then I want a basic managing plan with due dates. Now, that's very much similar to the pay setter that you've been given. Um, so you can adapt that a little bit, just a management plan, you can actually um, broaden that, in, for instance, I haven't, I just said design brief, but you know that design brief includes, for instance, your constraints and specifications, so you can add those on there in that um, table, make that table yourself, make sure it fits nicely on the A3, and it's clearly indicated. Okay, and then proof of re relevant research and a summary that's about three pages and i'd like to just show you some relevant research that i think will be important so let's have a look at some pets that's already been submitted in previous years for you to gain understanding of what's my expectation here 
Okay, now under the lockdown, uh, if you haven't done this yet, this might be a bit more difficult to do. But you'll have to try and do a site visit and interviews. Okay, um, now this is an example of Mr. Williams uh, of a year or two ago. He visited the lifestyle estate. He uh, what he was what was observed, uh, what was the practical measuring. He measured the road width, those kind of things practically. You know, Mentors Crowley visited, Blue Waters Entrance, and others, and here's pictures of him visiting those. Now, for you who've already done this, wonderful, uh, please include this in your in your conversation. For those of you who haven't done this, um, you know, you can always do a phone call to a local architect. You know, just take a picture of you making that phone call and ask a couple of questions. There's still opportunity for you to do an interview. Uh, maybe you're fortunate enough to have a relative that's maybe in construction or architecture. You're welcome to phone them. Otherwise, uh, use the yellow pages and uh, and phone someone. But they have a couple of questions prepared uh, when you do phone them. And just note down what they've said. Then, remember, um, this is part of a bigger uh, development. So, the aesthetics of the design... Um, that's something that's, that's also going to be important. What's the, um, how does the current development look like? Remember, your design will need to fit in with that. So there's a couple of uh, pictures that I was taking at school, and um, I'm sure with the lockdown that's almost finishing, you will have access to the school, and you will be able to also do that. Um, also, the different materials that was photographed, the bricks, the stonework, the colors, that's all things that you can consider and you can clearly lay that out on a A3 page. Um, then uh, some part of your research. Um, uh, okay, this is our eco-friendly uh, design construction. Um, and uh, they did an interview at the Brick Center. Look, your specified automotive ergonomics, access control and security, aesthetic design elements at current development. So you're not necessarily going to do research on eco-friendly construction, but this gives you an idea of what's expected. You can see here that the balance between pictures is about 50% towards the wording. So pictures really are very important. There we can see the traffic regulations and parking. So uh, here, uh, uh, some measurements of parking base, because these are all going to be important. What's the width of roads? Um, what's the size of buses? And please make sure when you do get this, this is then in metric and not um, in inches and uh, other parts. Right, and then security again, different types of gates, some questions on alarms, etc., guarding. But again here, this is almost too much text. Uh, please focus there on on um, on a lot of pictures, etc. And this can all be done currently, you know, via the internet um, and download relevant research on automotive ergonomics, access control and security, and the aesthetic design elements at current development. So those are the key features for you to consider. And please make sure you do it very nicely in an A3 uh, Word document um, and then you can use that you can do that all at home currently and then just um, uh, when you're ready you can print that out so for the phase first part of this um, pad let's really focus on your design brief and your research the next section that we will look at is a two free and concept designs thank you